Now, let's look at licensing. That's also another one which is a tricky one. Well, it's not tricky. You just need to make sure you understand how things work. And how things work is as follows. The licenses are going to be always obtained from the mobility controller, which means that this is where you'll put your licenses. We'll see that in a few minutes, but when you configure the MAs and the MCs, you're going to tell the MA what the IP address of the MC is, and you saw that in one of the wizards. That means that the MA is always going to talk and communicate with the MC. Now, for that reason, we think that the MC is a sort of central place in the subdomain because that's where all the MAs in the subdomain are going to report anyway. So for simplification, the logic of this architecture is that you have AP licenses on the MC, the central place, and therefore you do not need to have any AP license and you shouldn't have any AP license on any of the MAs in the subdomains. They are not going to use them. I mean, I'm talking about access point licenses, of course. The licenses will be on the MC. And the way this works is that as soon as you configure the MA, you tell it about the MC, so the MA is going to talk to the MC and ask for a few things about configuration. And in this relationship, whenever you plug an access point to the MA, the MA is going to ask the MC for an access point license, and the MC is going to decrement its count of available licenses and will send one license to the MA. Now, a common question is, oh, but what happens if we lose connectivity between the MC and the MA? Almost nothing, in the sense that once the AP is on the MA, it's there, it's on the MA, so nothing needs to be set further. So if you lose at that point connectivity between the MA and the MC, well, the AP stays there, the MA still provides connectivity to access points and wireless clients. You may have some trouble roaming, though, but that's a different story. For the access points, there is no impact. The only impact is if either the access point reboots, because then at that time, when it comes back, the MA is going to try to get the license again from the MC, and if the MC is not there, the MA will not be able to get it, and the AP will not be able to join. Or the second case, which may be a problem, if your MA reboots, and that's the same kind of logic, right? When the MA comes back up, then the APs are going to rejoin because they connect locally, and here again, the MA will need to talk to the MC to get a license. So in other words, the connectivity is mandatory at the time the access point joins the MA. Once that phase is passed, well, the license is on the MA, and then the MC connectivity does not matter anymore, at least you know, for the access point connectivity. So let's have a look at the CLI and see how that works. So here I am on the 3850. Again, this is an MA, OK? So the way I check my licenses is to say, show license, right to use, and then I have a few options. I'm going to choose summary so that you can see what I have. So it's a land base license. This is important. I'll come back on that in a minute. It doesn't have any access point count, base, or adder. So it doesn't have any access point license. Keep in mind, land base, that is going to have some impact in a few seconds. If I want to enable an access point license, I would use a command that is license, right to use, and then I can say activate. And you see, I can activate access point licenses or change my base license from land base to IP services or IP base. So there are three levels of IP licensing for the switching part of things. For the access point, it's AP count. So I can say, AP count adds a number of licenses, and if it's a switch because of the stacking logic, there is a slot configuration I can say to say slot one, which is my switch. And then, of course, I have to say accept license. Notice that there is a right to use logic here. In AeroS, I need to buy a license as a pack file. Here on Converge Access, I buy a license, and then once you have it, you activate this license. And it's right to use in the sense that we trust that you did buy that license and you're just activating it. The good thing about the fact that it's not a pack file is that you can then move this license around. If you want to move a license of five of these access points to another platform, another of your Converge Access systems, you can just deactivate five from here and then go to the next platform. OK, I added my 10 licenses. So now if I say show license right to use summary, I see I have 10 access point licenses. So I did activate licenses for 10 access points, and that's great. The only thing is that if this is an MA only, there is no point having a license here. It should be on the MC. So either this one is configured as an MC, or you need to remove your licenses and move them to the MC. 
And the reason why I'm showing you this command is to show you how easy it is to just deactivate license on one place and then move those licenses to another place. And that's what the uh, power of the RTU, right to use licensing system, is. OK, so let's go into the MCMA scenario so you can have a better sense of how these licenses work. Here I have two 3850s. One is a pure MA and the other one is MC and MA. Well, I'll skip the uh, configuration of this relationship for now. I'm just going to show you one command so that you see it. But then when we get to the MCMA and mobility configuration, I'll show you how this is done. But if I show mobility summary here, I see that this 3850T at the top of my rack is a mobility controller. And it knows one mobility agent, which is 101021.2. I just configured it so the link is still down, but it's going to come up in a second. And on this mobility controller, although it's a 3850, if I say show license right to use summary, I have access point licenses and one license is already being used. So that license is probably used by an access point on this 3850T. So it's an MC and because it has an access point, it's also an MA. So it's using one AP license. If I say show AP summary, I can see my access point here. It's downloading its code, by the way, from this controller. OK, so it's taking one of the licenses. Now, if I go on the MA, and again, I did some configuration in the background so that the MA knows about the MC. And if I say show wireless mobility summary on that MA, you see that I see nothing, no MC. So what's going on? Well, if I say show license right to use summary, I go back to that same box, and you see it's LAN base. And that's the other thing you want to be aware of. If I compare with the other, this one is IP base. And one thing you have to know is that although your switch can be LAN base, IP base, or IP service, if on that switch you want to enable wireless management, it has to be IP, because we're going to use IP to manage the access point, IP to manage your clients. So LAN base is not going to be sufficient for you to manage wireless access points. So on that switch, you need better license for your switching you need either IP base or either IP services. Of course, you would go to Cisco.com, buy your license, and then you would activate the right IP license, base or enterprise, so that your switch can also be used to manage IP devices, which is what access points are. So you would save that configuration, and you will have to reboot that switch to activate this IP license. All right, let's pause for a sec to let the switch reboot. And once it's back on its feet, you can see right at the bottom that it says control path to mobility member is up and control path to mobility member is up. And now if I say show wireless mobility summary, now I have something. And it says it's a mobility agent and it's talking to the mobility controller, which is 101021.6, and the link is up. All right, so keep that in mind. LAN base is not enough. You need IP base or IP services. Now that's on the MA and that's also true on the MC, right? on any switch that is converged access, if you want to have wireless management, you need that kind of licensing. Now, on my MC, if I say show wireless mobility summary, it's still a mobility controller, but this time the link to my MA is up and up. And if I say show AP summary, I don't have an access point anymore here. But if I say show license right to use summary, I still have one access point taken. So you see, although I removed the AP from that MC, there is still a license that is being eaten. And it's being taken basically by the access point on the MA, because now we have this relationship. The MA is going to use the MC to get its licensing. And when I say show AP summary on that MA, you see that AP that is taking the license from the MC.